Hi guys, Black and Rose here, and today I'm looking at when lights die. Now this was suggested to me by a fellow YouTuber called Isa, quite a popular YouTuber. Thank you for the suggestion. I accept the challenge. Now then, let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, simple controls. Wear headphones, turn the lights out, zoom with the... <laughs> With the Oculus Rift, eh? Blimey, that'll make quite an experience. Okay, let's see what we got. Bon, son casque est branché. Bon, l'expérience est sur le point de commencer. On est en train d'établir votre profil, cela ne sera pas long. Tout est stable. Je lance la génération de l'univers. Ok, vous allez bientôt commencer votre aventure. Vous allez être immergé dans un rêve créé à partir des données qu'on vient de collecter. On va tout vous expliquer, mais surtout ne retirez jamais votre casque de réalité virtuelle. Il est directement lié à votre activité cérébrale. Attends, viens voir, on a un retour étrange. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a Je comprends pas, le générateur est en limite. Bon, ne vous inquiétez pas, on va régler le problème. C'est qui le processus, mais c'est trop long, il est déjà bon. Oh là, yeah. un static lead that's getting you ears. Crotté. Thanks for that. Ok, what do we got A very bright room with a chair. I can hear a heartbeat. Who are these guys? That one in the bottom left there looks a bit like Spike Milligan. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. Crossed out people. Okay, let's have a look around. Alright, well this is all in a different language. Looks French. Not that I know much French. Ugh, bloody knife. Hello. Get back to the transfer chair. Fair enough. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I've got to find a transfer chair. Okay, well, let's have a look around then. Let's see what horrors await me in this virtual world and what's keeping me here. The hell was that? would like to say as well that I've seen a lot of your clips, Isa. You've got some brilliant stuff going on. And if you watch this, thank you for the suggestion and thank you for your quality content. Consider it a call out if you like. Okay, what have we got here? I would have said that was Jesus, except that guy's carrying a rock. Not the cross. And he needs more clothes on. What have we got here? Uh, I'm not sure I want to know. Ugh. Ugh. What are you doing there? Let's just go down here, shall we? Ow. <laughs> ah! Huh? D are you moving? Hey, check it out, you're moving! But you, you just sort of seem to be standing there. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like this, I'm assuming it's a girl. There's something weird about it. Yeah, no kidding. I'm being followed by something. Ah! What the hell are you? Oh my god, it's right on me. Go away! Leave me alone! Stop squeaking at me! Get yourself oiled up! I can't believe I just said that! Stop whispering in my bloody ear! Okay, it looks like I shook it off for now. 
Oh no I didn't. He just turned around. What is that whispering? Go away! Leave me alone! I don't want to oil you up. Oh my god, it's still behind me. And it's waking... Well, it, it's, it's, it, it's not waking my vision. It's making my vision go all funny. And it appears to be messing with the lights as well. Okay, well it came from down here. I don't know what that is, but I haven't got a lot of time to hang around. It looks a bit like a diver's helmet blueprint. I'm gonna go this way. Yes, I can hear you. Go away. What's this way? Is this where you lived, little one? Did you live here? Are you doing all this? Tell me what you want! What the hell is that? Me no likey, me no likey. I kind of wish I hadn't turned the lights out. Right, keep an eye out on the lights, they seem to flicker off when he's nearby. Ugh. Someone's been writing on the walls. Don't tell the matron. She'll beat me. Hello. It's a convenient looking cage. Out of the way, little one. Hmm. Do I head this way? Wait a minute. That's the chair! And it's flickering at me! Quick! Let's get in the chair! God, did that flickering's messing with my eyes a bit. Right, let's get out of here. Come on! There's not much of my brain to transfer, just... put it into high gear. God, dear, that flashing light really doesn't help with my eyes. Wait a minute, I see the flickering in the back there. That thing is approaching. The squeaky monster. Oh no, he's coming! He wants me to oil him up! It's the evil Tin Man! From... No, it's not Alice in Wonderland. From the Wizard of Oz. It's the evil Tin Man! What? Step 1 of 40... No, 64! What? 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 Oh, was that it? Well, that was it. Um... Okay. Our game is made by passion and no money. Well, good on you for a, a, a small, de a decent horror title. That one can really work you over so, for a quick scare. It's not big, it's not massive, but for what it is, it's pretty good for what it is. Uh, I've got to see if I can remember the link for it. I'll put a link in the description uh, for this one, so you can give it a go for yourself, but... It's a good little horror title. Uh, not much to it. Uh, one big squeaky thing wandering around. Uh, the odd little scare. But makes for a, a simple horror title to play. But... Huh. What's in the options then? Pulse sensor configuration. You can, have a, you can attach a pulse sensor to this? Oh, that is brilliant. And it, with the Oculus Rift, this would be an amazing game. Not that I've ever used the Oculus Rift, but I know what it is. I've seen Markiplier using it. But that could be an interesting one. But anyway, this is When Lights Die. A decent little horror game. Not brilliant, but it is a, it's a good horror game for what it is. Short, sweet, and got some hor horrific moments in it. But thank you guys for watching me. Thank you, Issa, for suggesting this to me. I'm Black and Rose, and I will see you in my next clip. Take care, my friends.